last name was Sewell. I don't know why they called him Uncle Sewell, but his name was Elbert. And he was from down there in deep east Texas where the rest of my mom's family's from. And he had that real slow southern drawl. And he was a maintenance man. And he went to, he worked for an, like a, an air conditioning contractor. He's in the English building working on this air conditioner. Well, he gets the system fixed. The only person in the room is an English professor, a lady. Well, when he got through, he got the work order out. He reached in his pocket for his pen and didn't have a pen. He said, ma'am, can I borrow your pen? She said, what? Can I borrow your pen? I need your pen. She said, what are you asking for? He said, your pen, your writing pen. She said, sir. What you're asking for is a pen. Huh? A pen. P-E-N spells pen, not pen. He said, I ain't getting you, lady. She said, well, let me ask you this. If you knew a woman whose name was Peggy, and she had the nickname Peg, P-E-G, would you pronounce it pig? She, he says, reckon that depends on how she looks. <laughs> Well, what else went wrong this week? Well, Ethel and I got kind of sideways with one another. Well, I noticed when I called your house yesterday to see if you were going to be able to make it on up here for this. Uh, she seemed a little bit upset. I asked her if everything was okay, and she said you two had had words. Yeah, we had words all right, only I didn't get to use none of mine. <laughs> <laughs> what happened this week, Dusty? Well, first off, I was up in San Antonio driving around and uh, Living, driving through a subdivision and doggone if I didn't have a cap run out in front of me. Oh, you didn't run over a cap. Yeah, I did. Yep, yeah, did. I hope you did the right thing. Yeah, I did. I went back. Great. Did you try to find out who owned the cap? No, I just left a note pinned to his collar. <laughs> An apology note, I hope. No, suicide note. <laughs> sick with a cough early in the week, like to never got rid of it. Well, did you go to the doctor? Yep, yeah, yeah. Good. Did the doctor help you? Yep. Yeah. How? He gave me some medicine. Good. What did he give you? He gave me a laxative. <laughs> the doctor gave you a laxative for your cough? Yep. Yeah. Did that help? Oh yeah, I don't dare cough now. <laughs> About 6.15, the first smell of a grilling steak drifted across the fence. Oh no, not again. The Cajuns called up the priest and they said, You've got to come back down here, Father. Apparently you didn't took what you did. <laughs> What's up? What's going on? He's grilling them steak again. We got our, all our catfish and redfish and crawfish and all the fish we trying to eat on Friday and he grilling them steaks again. Well, the priest goes, drives down to Uncle Bob's house, goes and knocks on the door, no answer, goes around to the back of the house, finds Uncle Bob standing over the grill, big, thick ribeye grilling. He's got a little vial of water in his hand, and he's sprinkling it on the steak, saying, You was born a cow, you was raised a cow, but now you're a catfish. <laughs> I do that, that good marriages, long lasting marriages are made in heaven. So is thunder and lightning. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, Dusty, tell me this. What did y'all do to celebrate your 50th anniversary? Well, we sitting in the rocking chairs on the front porch there. We was uh, rocking back and forth, looking out over the ranch. I said, Ethel, I've been married for 50 years today. Uh, what you want to do to, what you want to do about that? She said, well, Dusty, I reckon we could kill one of them chickens in the yard and have him for dinner. I said, that sounds good, but I just don't think it's right that we take out on a poor chicken something that happened 50 years ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, first time I went off there in my pants pocket, I thought I had a lizard or a yellow jacket up the <laughs> Next thing I know, I had my pants down around my ankles swapping out a imaginary critter. <laughs> Oh, that had to be hilarious. I love seeing a videotape of that. There you stand in the middle of the cow pasture with your pants tied around your ankles and the 
cows staring at your boxer shorts. And all there I have to do in the checkout line at the Walmart. <laughs> Manager said, hey, looks like prices ain't the only things falling around. They <laughs> hey, didn't you tell me that you thought you knew somebody here? Yeah, I do. Uh, old Jeff Hanson back there. Jeff, stand up. Y'all give him a big hand. Hey, Jeff, he's a good friend. <laughs> How do you know Jeff? Jeff and I used to rodeo together something. Really? You guys used to rodeo together? Yep, sure did. He don't like me to tell this story, but I saved his life once. Oh, come on. You didn't save his life. I did, too. You sure did. All right. Go ahead and tell the story. Well, old Jeff and I was down in San Antonio. He climbed up on the old horse he ain't never ridden before. Yeah? Yeah, he did. And got on the old horse he didn't know nothing about. That thing went to rearing and a bucking, and off he came. It throwed him. So what happened? Well, he got his... Foot hung up in a stirrup. That thing went to dragging him and stomping him and dang near drug him to death. So how did you say Well, I was the one that ran inside the, there and got the Kmart manager to come unplug that thing. <laughs> <laughs> that's exactly how it happened, honey. Yeah. You remember that, Jeff? Yeah. 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 Hey, Jeff, you remember the name of that horse? I don't believe it do, huh? Easy Rider. <laughs>